Hello guys, Snowflake here. Welcome to another episode of Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. In the last episode, we did the Siren's Deception quest, where we took down the all-female gang that was ruining marriages and stealing a bunch of stuff from married men. Uh, Melona and Gogun, who were one of the couples who were affected, turns out they were actually city guards undercover, and they just sent me in as a civilian to potentially risk my life and die as I was being 3v1, 4v1 if you count the zombie that one of them summoned. Um, but yeah, we managed to take down the entire gang. Um, one of them was called Signy Homewrecker, which is a great and apt name. Uh, but yeah, managed to find their farmhouse, which they lured, tried to lure us to. And we took them all down. So, some great stuff there. Uh, the quest we're doing this episode is called Go Fish. Uh, Elwyn Merriwald at the Weir Settlement southwest of the Imperial City is looking to acquire 12 Rumare Slaughterfish scales to sell to a customer. He's asked me to do the legwork and he's getting quite old and can't handle the difficult task. For Rumare, Slaughterfish is a special breed of slaughterfish that can only be found in Lake Rumare, di directly north of Weir. So I guess we will head there and get some scales. And to get our old man's retirement fund for him. Uh, let's head off to Warner Inn. And get to fishing. Unfortunately in this game, you don't get a fishing rod. You just get to jump into the ocean and start slashing away at fish. So... That's pretty much what we'll be doing. Fortunately, we do have quest markers to help point us in the right direction. Otherwise, it would be very difficult to find these fish. Okay, I've got a little bit of bites from these guys. Yeah, they do hurt a little bit, but they're not too tough to kill. I'll take that Rumari Slaughterfish scale. That was a Rumari Slaughterfish Broodmother. I didn't even realise there were different brands. There's the next one. They are dodgeable as well, some of these attacks, it's just... Don't really need it. Where's the... Where did the fish go? Oh, there you are. Oh good, I can heal while I'm above the water. Great. We've got two so far. I'm trying to dodge just for the skill, but I really could just tank all of these hits and it wouldn't be a big deal. But uh, yeah, that's free. Can I not take your scales? Oh, oh wait, no, it's this way. Okay. Going for an underwater attack, huh? They do stagger you as well, some of these attacks, so... This could be potentially a treacherous quest for, at certain levels. I think I am strong enough to be able to handle it. Like, mages in particular would, would find it very tough here, because you can't cast spells underwater. And to be fair, I've lost all, like, a, a quarter... Like, a third of my health from the first four fights, so... Yeah, these guys pack a punch. Alright, I've got your pan down, buddy. Oh, there's a mud crab here too, I didn't even... 
no oh. mud crabs could be underwater. Stop kidding, man. Okay, let's breathe. Uh, where's the mud crab we just killed? Did you float up as well? Oh, there you are. I'll grab that. Uh, we can make a mud crab potion for sure. Uh, so I was at five now. Yeah. Okay. On to the next. My athletics has gone up. That's good. One more. Six. Seven. We're doing it. Just wait. This is a nice little afternoon swim, isn't it? Or morning swim. Oh, you're here. Oh, I don't like the attacks from below. That's where I draw the line, sir. Ah. Yeah, I prefer being on this side. That's number nine. Carrying as many heals as we can on the way. Uh, but we should be fine now. We don't even really need to heal. Because we're all ready. Hey, where are you at? This one feels stronger than the usual ones. Were the other ones just regular Ramara Swordfish? I haven't been paying attention. This one's a brood mother, so I assume it's stronger than like a regular Swordfish. Alright, let's get breathe. There we go. What is that now? Ten? Ten. Okay, we've got two more left. I 
I can understand why an old man would not want to do this. Because these guys are tough. And there's 11. And just one more to go. Oh, there you go. I've lost them. There you are. Oh, I've staggered. You see that every time they hit me, they take a lot of damage too. So, it's not even that big a deal. Couple more hits. And there's number 12. We've done it. I've acquired 12 Romare Sword to these scales. I should bring them to Aylward Mirrorworld at the Way Settlement as soon as I can. Don't mind if I do. And look, there he is just hanging around outside. Hi there. I don't know what I'll do if you don't get those scales for me. I've saved so much for my retirement, but it's just not enough. Well, worry no longer about those scales. By the nine, you've got the scales. Thank you. Let it never be said that there are no kind souls in this world. I'll give you this ring in trade. I have no use for it anymore, but I imagine that they would be very valuable to someone like you. We'll see. Thank you, stranger. Thank you, Elwin. You've shown me kindness, and I will think of you in the long, comfortable days ahead. Enjoy your retirement, pal. So, we've lost the scales. We've gained a ring called the Jewel of the Romare. Uh, let's have a look. Wow. Water breathing on self, fortify athletics, four points. I mean, just the water breathing part makes it pretty good. I might even hang on, like, hang on to it just to have a water breathing thing on me in case I need it. Um, so it only weighs one. But looking at this, this, this is worth over 2,500 gold. I got you 12 scales, which apparently were worth 2 gold each. I think if you sold this ring, that you apparently didn't need anyway, you would have made more than enough money for your retirement. Um, so I wouldn't have had to go swimming and you would have had a lot more money, but hey, I'll take I'll take the ring. I'm very happy with this trade personally. Just just uh, just a fool, old man. But thank you, Elvin. Uh, let's head back to the base. And think about wrapping things up. What is it now? She sounds, she sounds very bothered by me. I haven't even asked her to do anything, and she's my employee. Yeah, we'll keep the, we'll hang on to the jewel of a Romare just in case. Oh yeah, our, our armor's shredded now thanks to the slaughterfish. I think it, yeah, it's all broken. Oh well. Uh, it was only that potion, really, wasn't it? That I was going to put back. Haven't found anything else. Alright, awesome. So that quest is complete. We've completed the Go Fish quest. We have given the Fort 12 Rumahari Slaughterfish somewhat challenging opponents, but nothing to worry about, really. We've given them to Elwyn Merriwald so he can sell them onto his alchemist friend and get his retirement fund, and he gave us a very expensive ring. The Jewel of Rumare, which has the water breathing um, enchantment on it, which he could have probably got a lot of a lot more money for, but I'll take the gift, that's for sure, and appreciate it. Uh, that is another quest completed. And the next quest, oh, okay. Oh, the next quest is actually going to be an interesting one because we're going to be heading back to the Shivering Isles. Um, to complete a couple of um, complete a couple of requests there, 
Uh, the next one we're going to do the Museum of Oddities, which is an interesting quest because it could be very difficult to complete because you've got to find a lot of items that are hard to find. Uh, but it should be a very interesting one. So I will see you then, I guess. Take care and goodbye, guys.